Art contests suck. Now, is this the salty part of me talking due to the many art contests I have entered and lost? Perhaps. Okay, maybe a small amount. But I'm actually going to try and approach this viewpoint from a more logical and less emotional perspective. Hello everyone, my name's Ayla Bell and art contests are extremely unfair. What I mean is, and I'm mostly addressing this towards my fellow social media artists who have come across draw this in your style contests, draw my OC contests, a contest to get your art in an art book, etc, etc. If you've been on Instagram or DeviantArt long enough, you'll know what I'm talking about. My complaints may extend to art contests being hosted outside of social media, but I can only really speak from my own experience. When it comes to social media art contests, it's very obvious who will probably win and who absolutely won't win. There's usually a wide range of artist skill when these contests happen. They often range from a professional artist who successfully draws for a living and someone who just picked up a pencil for the first time last week. Pitting these two in the same competition seems a tad unfair, don't you think? You wouldn't allow a beginner tennis player to participate in a tennis tournament with Serena Williams, would you? Then why are we allowing this for art contests? Obviously, the professional artist who knows how to do magical things due to their years of skill will triumph over the person who can only draw a stick figure. The newer artist has no chance whatsoever, and that just seems a bit unfair to me. I mean, yeah. It is an art contest, and the entire point is for the best artist to win. And if someone knows they have the skill to stand against the best, why wouldn't they enter? But the system still feels wrong. The beginner artists were set up to fail from the start. And I'll admit that I am also guilty of setting up art contests with these characteristics. But that doesn't mean it didn't bug me though, it's just more that I didn't know what to do about it. So, in an ideal world, here's how it should be run. Art contests should have different categories based on skill level. A beginner contest, an intermediate contest, and an advanced contest. You can either leave it to the participants to use their wisdom to discern which category they belong in, or have participants provide a preliminary art piece so that the judges, or powers that be, can decide which category they belong in. This way, things are more fair all around. I'm fairly certain that these kinds of art contests do exist out there, but at least when it comes to social media art contests, I've only seen the one kind where anyone can join. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're holding an art contest, do whatever you like. You don't have to listen to me. You have your reasons. Maybe you just want what you want, or maybe you don't have the resources to provide prizes to the winner in each category, or the time to give your full attention to three separate contests. I get it. I'm just trying to fight for the little guy here because I know the feeling of being figuratively crushed by artists with more skill than me. The contest gets your hopes up with promises of grandeur and recognition and a bunch of other cool things. You're on cloud nine just imagining life and how awesome it will be when you win. For a moment, you believe you can actually do it. But then, no. You fall back down to earth and realize you were never even a player in the game. You were just some insignificant little ant that they humored. Oh wait, <laughs> I accidentally let some of that pesky emotion slip back in. I didn't mean to project there. For the record, it's not like art contests always attract a Serena Williams level competitor. Wait, I should probably use a famous artist as an example and not an athlete as to not muddle the metaphor. Besides, the athlete angle will stop making sense in just a few moments. For the record, it's not like art contests always attract a Van Gogh level competitor. Art contests are always judged on a grading curve of some sorts. Simply put, the best artist wins regardless of skill level. If it's only beginners who happen to enter, then a beginner will win. If an intermediate level artist joins the fray, they most likely will beat the beginner. Maybe not all the time? but in most cases. Now, if you think art contests will always benefit the artist with the most skill, you'd be wrong. The judges, especially if there's only one judge, will almost always be biased towards a certain style. Case in point, I prefer anime style over realism. 
So even if someone drew the most beautiful realism piece and displayed the most skill, if I were a judge, to be completely honest, I'll probably still skew more towards the one who drew in a more anime or even cartoony style. I'd like to think that I'd be a little more objective than that, but I'm human. In such a case, the advanced artist with the realism entry wouldn't stand that high of a chance. Usually things balance out if you have more than one judge, but it's still possible for bias to sneak in. Regardless, most social media contests that I've come across only have one judge. And now you understand why I had to drop the athlete metaphor. You know, considering judging for sports is supposed to be more objective than judging for art. Just as an aside, I have a bone to pick with Draw This In Your Style contests. Ignore the irony of me participating in one during this video. This challenge bugs me because the title is literally Draw This In Your Style, and yet the hosts of said contests allow the participants to change the pose of the subject and even change around some significant elements. You can even add or take away characters if you want to. If you're changing the drawing in such a way, you are no longer drawing this drawing in your style. You are now just drawing their OC. OC means original character, by the way. So the contest should actually be a Draw My OC contest. If the Draw This In Your Style contest were true to their title, then every participant should literally have to redraw the drawing in their own style by keeping all elements in place. If the contest in question shows the headshot of a girl turned to the side displaying her profile and said drawing has no background, then all redraws should have the headshot of the girl's profile. No, you can't draw her whole body. No, you can't have her facing forward. No, you can't include a background. Just draw what you see in your style to the best of your abilities. Because that's the point of the challenge. If you just want people to draw your OC, then just be honest and say that. Slight deviations are okay. Like, I don't think there is much difference between a character with both eyes open versus winking. Small things like that are fine but stark differences to the point where you aren't even recreating the original drawing with at least 95% fidelity? No. Is this a personal gripe of mine? Yes, but it's valid, I think, because I feel like it puts all participants in said challenge on a more even playing field. Not everyone can draw a big bombastic and beautiful background, but maybe they can draw a profile headshot, so they actually stand a chance in this contest. Is there anything good about art contests? You know, other than the varying degree of fame and glory if you win? Absolutely. But before I explain further, if you're enjoying this video, then artistically hit the like button and subscribe for more reviews, rants, and rewrites. If you want to support me even more, then click join and become a channel member where you can get cool perks such as, but not limited to, access to videos early and live streams. Becoming a member will help me in my dream of having a creative career and providing more entertainment for all of you. Follow me on my socials in the description and be sure to join our community discord link also in the description. If you're still watching at this point, put the palette emoji in the comments. Thank you. All right, let me start this by saying that I myself am a digital artist, obviously. I have been drawing since I was a small child and it's something I enjoy doing very much. Am I the best at it? Absolutely not. I am 100% a fake it till you make it type of person, and I still have so much more to learn. But I've had moments in my life where I wanted to test my skill and see where I stand against other artists. Well, it was less to test my skill and more I want to win. Which is fair, especially when the prizes are really cool. When you have the combination of a really nice prompt that you gel with and fuels your imagination, along with the motivation to actually put forth effort in order to win a prize, you can produce some awesome results. I won't lie, my best artworks were birthed because of art contests and me pushing myself to be my best artistic self in order to win. In that regard, Art contests are really beneficial to artists because they can force them to get out of their comfort zone as well as stretch their abilities past their current state. And then there is the other benefit of art contests that can occur when you lose. If you're anything like how I used to be, someone with a big ego who thinks their art is so much better than it actually is, then losing at an art contest is a huge wake-up call that you have a long ways to go before you come even close to measuring up to the winners or pros. 
If you truly have a passion for art, then this should now motivate you to learn from this loss and improve your skill with more specific practice and study. I'll admit that if I hadn't lost in an art contest early on in my digital art era, I would not have realized how much work needed to be done. It's amazing what humility can do for a person. The other cool thing is that when you see the winners, you have something to aspire towards. You get to see what quality looks like and maybe this will give you an idea of things for you to work on. Trying to improve your art or any skill that's relatively new to you or one you have plateaued in can be daunting. I get that. But you know, if you had the drive to push yourself to enter an art contest to begin with, which is a big step in itself, then you have the capacity to shift gears and put that energy to purposeful practice. Overwhelmed by the amount of things you need to learn? Just choose one thing and start from there. You can do this. So, do art contests suck? They can, and I still stand on the idea that many of them are unfair, but there's no denying the benefits you can acquire if you do decide to participate in one. You might come out as a better artist for it. And even if these contests did decide to have different contests based on skill level, at the end of the day, someone is still going to win, which means that someone has to lose. And more often than not, there are more losers than there are winners. But fortunately, and I know it doesn't feel very fortunate in the moment, there's a lot you can learn by losing. But Allo, you forgot to mention something. I did? Yes. Some people simply join art contests because they find it fun. Not everyone takes it personally even when they lose. Maybe they join simply because they like the prompt and wanted to draw. There are beginner artists out there who know for a fact that they don't stand a chance and still try anyway. Because it's fun. Isn't that cool? And besides, as long as you participate, your chances of winning are always higher than 0%. The contest holder might just throw a curveball during the judging process. Who knows? You know what? Yeah, that's true. Very good points, Bell Bell. Thank you! Even if there is an unfair quality to some art contests, that doesn't mean they still can't be fun and that you can't get something good out of them. And now I open the floor to all of you. Are you an artist who has participated in contests before? How did it go? Would you do it again? For my non-artists out there, have you faced a similar conflict in your own field of interest? Comment below and let's get this conversation started. And remember, I'm the Artistic Alabel, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more reviews, rants, and rewrites. But as for now, that's all there is. There isn't any more.